this is going to be a very quick video. I just wanted to show you a bit of a practical example or a pl practical application of where we might actually want to use this sort of circuit. And by this sort of circuit, I mean a circuit with a capacitor charging or perhaps discharging. So don't worry about the other stuff I've got in this breadboard, but there's actually an amplifier circuit in there made from transistors. I'll certainly be covering that in another um, module um, or another lecture at some stage. Um, maybe not, not part of this DC type of lecture, maybe in analog devices, but I mean that'll come up later on. Anyway, I've got a button here. Now when I press that button, it is instantly going to discharge that capacitor because it's just shorted straight across the capacitor. When that capacitor um, gets discharged, it obviously goes down to zero volts. And because of the way I've got the circuit connected up, with that button released, it allows the capacitor to charge. It takes a certain amount of time for the capacitor to charge, as we've already been working out with our RC time constants. And eventually it gets to such a voltage that it goes through the amplifier circuit to turn the LED on. So I'll press the button, it'll just instantly discharge, and then we'll give it time and you'll see what happens once it charges. So once it charges, it turns the, um, the light on. So that's, I mean, a very basic way of thinking maybe about a camera flash. So a camera, fl uh, sorry, not a camera flash, a, um, a timed photo. So with your camera, you can set it to actually take a timed photo. You press the button, it doesn't instantly take the photo, but you wait about five seconds and it does take the photo. So press the button, five, four, three, two, one, let's just say like that, and obviously the photo gets taken. Now just to show you, if I was to replace that resistor with a larger value, so this one was, what was that? Uh, that's 33K, let's go up to 100K, and I'm just going to make sure I'm getting this right, there we go. Let's do the same thing, instantly discharge, let's see how long it takes to actually charge the capacitor to enable the light to turn on. Waiting. And you can see it's slowly getting there, and it turns on. All right, what if we replaced 100K with something that's, what's that? That's um, ooh, it's nearly 4 meg. In fact, with a 4 meg ohm resistor, I probably don't want to record the video for as long as what this is going to take to charge up. Still waiting, still waiting. So this here would be really good if you're taking a photo where you're a kilometer away. So you press the button and you run, 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 and then eventually get a kilometer away, a kilometer away and then it will take the photo for you because it's just going to be that long. Maybe another good example of this sort of thing is if we were to swap the capacitor resistor around the other way, we can cause, in fact I'll talk about it while I connect it up, I'm just going to swap the capacitor and the resistor. Just so, I mean, you guys will probably know what this example, you've probably seen these in school classrooms and different things like that. I'll try a 33K resistor, just to see what happens with this one, like that. And I've just got to reconfigure this button. In fact, I'm just going to get rid of the button and use a short piece of wire. So this will discharge the capacitor. And just notice the LED is on. But if we keep waiting a little while, can you notice is happening? The LED is slowly <laughs> turning off. So let's discharge the capacitor again. It's charged. So this time because I've swapped the capacitor and resistor around, with the capacitor discharged it enables the light to be turned on and then as the capacitor charges it takes away the voltage from the resistor um, and therefore it eventually causes the LED to turn off. So this one's probably a good example of lights in the classroom. So you may have seen where you've got those light buttons. You press the button, it turns the lights on for maybe two hours, four hours or something like that. Once the time is up, it eventually turns the lights off. So it's got an auto off feature and that's what we can do with this one as well. So that's um, a, a couple of practical applications we could use for our capacitor actually. Um, taking a while to charge in the circuit. Hopefully that helps. Um, no, no homework questions with this one, no quizzes, but um, let's get on with the next one and see how we go with that. Thanks for watching guys.